So, welcome everyone, Kiltech here. Tonight I have another guide for you guys. Uh, this will be uh, some episodes of smaller guides about electronic warfare guys. And I want to start with the Galente. Uh, they use uh, some kind of sensor dampener. And what this sensor dampener does is uh, it uh, reduces the targeting range and the scan resolution of an enemy ship. Uh, and at this point I want to also say that uh, this electronic warfare devices always uh, does some uh, penalty or disadvantages to, to an enemy ship. And as I just said, the sensor dampeners of the Galente ships uh, reduce the, sen the targeting range and the scan resolution. Uh, what will happen if you do that? If you if if, uh, if you reduce someone's targeting range and you are uh, then out of his targeting range, he will lose the lock on your ship and can't engage you. Maybe he has uh, drones out which were already engaging you. They are still fine at engaging you, but the ship itself can't engage you anymore. The second one is the scan resolution. What happens if uh, someone's scan uh, resolution is reduced? Uh, he will need uh, much longer to lock someone. So for example you are flying in frigates in a little fleet in low sec or in null sec and you catch someone with a little bit bigger ship let's say a battlecruiser or a battleship. If you have let's say two frigates from Galente with E-War and you both put a scan resolution on him uh, scan resolution dampener on him he will literally li need like minutes to lock you guys so this can be very useful so uh, how efficient can an alpha clone use this e-war uh, I have to say that it is kind of limited really limited for alpha clones to use this let me just show you guys why because in electronic systems uh, you would need sensor linking 5% less capacitor need for sensor link per skill and you would uh, need sig signal suppression which would increase uh, the, the effect of the sensor dampener by 5% per level unfortunately uh, alpha clones can only train to level 1 of sensor linking and can't train signal suppression at all so that means you can use tech 1 or named sensor dampeners but uh, that's it guys you can't go above uh, Omega of course can you scale both to level 5 and can use this at full efficiency so then let me just show you guys the ships in which we can use those let's start with the frigates we have Galente, the Maulus. This will be the first ship that you can use with E-War and as you see this ship has a bonus on the effect, effectiveness of remote sensor dampeners and it has a reduction when you use the modules. What would be the iteration of this? As you can see the Maulus Navy issue does not have any uh, bonuses for for this E-War system, but the Keras actually does. He has for remote sensor dampener effectiveness. So let's o let's open both up. As you can see, the Keras has the exact same bonuses as the remote sen uh, as the Maulus has. But he additionally has uh, warp scrambler and warp disruptor optimal range bonus, and as uh, the remote sensor dampener reduction in, in activation cost. Um, right at this point, I uh, want to talk about uh, 
I would say the secondary EOR system. Every every race has a primary. This would be a remote sensor dampener for Galente, and a second one. In this case, it is a optimal range of warp scramblers and warp disruptors. So what? How could you uh, use those both? Uh, I would say this actually has a good synergy because with remote sensor dampeners you could uh, decrease the targeting range of your target and because you have an, a bonus or 15% bonus on your warp scrambler and warp disruptor range you can even stay uh, at longer range from your target so that you can have a point on him decrease his targeting range and yeah he's he's trapped pretty much he can't engage you directly with his ship he can't get out because you have a point on him so that's a nice way to do it and what would be the iteration from here as an alpha clone you could only use the maulus the keras is off limits but the next iteration would be the Celestis. Alpha clones can use the Celestis. As you can see it also has uh, bonuses on remote sensor dampeners. And the, iter the iteration from, from the cruiser would be the recon cruisers. Combat recon. Let's see. As you can see, he has the Aratsu has uh, the same remote sensor dampener effectiveness, and the Lachesis has the same effect, uh, effectiveness too. So, and at this point, you can see um, neither of these ships is getting uh, a better bonus. All have the same bonus. So, for this showcase, I am going to show a little fit on. This Maulus frigate. As you can see, I can't fit Tech 2, and I'm going to to, to show you the Tech 2 variants. Uh, I of course would have some kind of propulsion here, so I am putting in three remote sensor dampeners. I am not going to bother with low slot or high slots right now or drones. That's not my concern. I'm just going to show you. Uh, how this sensor dampener will work. The next thing is uh, actually if you don't uh, put any charges, with charges I mean scripts, in your remote sensor dampener uh, it does same effect on both. As you can see uh, minus 20, 23 scan resolution bonus at minus 23 percent maximum targeting range bonus. But you could decide to say I want only scan resolution dampening or only targeting range dampening. If I put this one on, uh, you can see I get I I get uh, like 100% bonus on. Actually, I get exactly 100% bonus on targeting range, and scan resolution effect uh, effect is gone. And as you can see, I have a range within 117 kilometers and an optimal range within 39 kilometers. Uh, and we can see right now that would be minus 46 percent minus 46 minus 36 of course if you are using more than one module with this effect uh, the other modules will get a penalty so you don't get the full uh, 46 percent every time so how co can we even improve uh, here we could, of course, get some rigs, guys. We could get, let's see, electronic superiority rigs. And it should be this inverted signal, I think, was it, right? It's designed to increase the effectiveness of fitted remote sensor dampeners at the expense of shield. We would get a 5% bonus. So, one, two. We can't fit more than two. And now we are at 50% guys, at 50% this will definitely uh, 
get the targeting range of an enemy ship really down. And as of next I want to show you guys in an alpha clone with the Maulus uh, just a showcase uh, with, with a fellow uh, YouTube follower of mine uh, just to showcase you uh, that even if you're alpha clone you can use it uh, 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 to some extent at least and see uh, how that works you will see how the enemy ship loses the log of after a certain kilometer so as you guys can see my friend over here Red Asisora is uh, targeting me right now and I have all three sensor dampeners on and normally he would have something about uh, 17 kilometers of uh, range targeting and he will lose his lock you see the yellow box this should go yes as you can see right now he lost lock he can't engage me anymore because I am out of range of him this is how you can, could use uh, those sensor dampeners with targeting range scripts on them okay guys um... What I wa also wanted to show you is, we are not finished yet. We also have, just to showcase you that those exist, electronic warfare drones. This means you could uh, use all your uh, modules for dampening and also use hammerhead or hobgoblin drones, which also reduce the sensor range, targeting range and uh, scan resolution of an enemy ship as you can see so um, how would you con counter something like this let's say you are flying around and you uh, find someone uh, on the enemy fleet who is using sensor remote sensor dampeners on you so uh, if you did not uh, prepare for it you were pretty much screwed at that point yeah, the only way to to do anything is to get in range you have to get in range if you can't get in range then you're pretty much fucked but i would not say a uh, hard counter but there is something uh, that neg negates yeah it negates the effects of, of the remote sensor dampener a little bit if you put in sensor boosters let me just show you the module electronic sensor upgrades sensor booster pack 2 if I put in a sensor booster you can see I get a 30% on maximum targeting range and 30% on scan resolution bonus and actually you can put targeting range script in it with this one you would get a total of 60% of maximum targeting range that would be let's do the math really quick we have 77.4 kilometers multiplied by 1.6 so we would now have 123 kilometers uh, so if uh, the enemy is trying to dampen us to nirvana we will still have some range left and hopefully we will be able to engage him so guys if you have any questions about the galente e-war uh, just post it in the comments and i will uh, try to answer all the questions about uh, the galente e-war even if you want any information on the uh, second e-war system of the galente just ask in the comments guys so guys, if you did like the video, then please like and share it with your friends. Uh, if you're not subscribed, guys, subscribe. As always, kill tech out.